A function is like a miniature program inside your program. It's a way for one piece of code to call upon another piece of code to execute. In GameMaker, built-in functions are colored orange or gold. Functions are listed similar to a variable, but then are followed by two parentheses. If the function requires some sort of value to execute, some sort of unknown value or a variable, you would place that information in between the parentheses. For these two examples, room go to next and instance destroy, these particular pieces of code don't require you to feed a value into the other piece of code. Room go to next will simply move to the next room in the list in your resource tree, and instance destroy will simply get rid of the object that's calling instance destroy. However, some functions require you to send values to be calculated. In this example, object set depth, which sets the depth of the object, you need to send two values. One is the name of the object for which you wish to set the depth and the depth value. So here I have object set depth and I'm sending that piece of code the value object Mario 1 and the depth value of negative 10. To understand this more in depth, we can look at scripts. Anytime you create a script, it's similar to creating a function. It's a piece of code that can be called upon and executed by other pieces of code. Here I have an example of a function I created using a script. I called it addition, and it's asking for two arguments. The values that go inside the parentheses are known as arguments, and they start at argument zero and increment from there. So I'm feeding the addition script, or function, the value one and the value two. If I go inside the script, you can see that all it's doing is it's returning the value for argument zero plus argument one. It's adding the two values together. So if I ran this, my variable val would equal three. There are many other functions built into GameMaker, so I'll list a few right here. As you can see, some of them don't require you to send a value. They'll execute on their own. Some of them do require you to send values, known as arguments. And some of them even return a value, as I've shown you with my addition function that I created. Functions are a great way to write a piece of code once, and then anytime you need it, just call upon it, without having to write it multiple times every time you want to call upon it. And the true strength of the function is to feed it different values each time, or different arguments. So although you're technically executing the same piece of code every time, you're giving the code different values, and therefore it functions slightly differently each time. Don't worry if you don't understand this in depth, this is just kind of a primer. I'm going to have an entire playlist on just GameMaker functions, so stay tuned for that.